All right, so to get things started, I wanna grab two pieces of software here. The first one is gonna be Node.js, which allows us to run JavaScript outside of the browser. This is gonna be super helpful for us in our first section of the course, where we're just running some very basic commands, and we just want to very quickly look at the output. Okay, so that's gonna allow us to do that. The other tool we're gonna get, or the other piece of software, is gonna be Visual Studio Code. This is just a code editor, so it's a place where we can type our code out. Okay, so let's start with Node.js. We want to go to nodejs.org. So you want to type that into your browser. I'll leave the link in the description to make it really easy for you to find. And then on this page, you'll see download for and then your machine. In my case, it's Windows. In your case, it might be Mac. It's available for each one. And then where it says recommended for most users, you want to click that button and then go through all the prompts to get this guy installed. Okay, so once you've finished that up, then you want to head over to code.visualstudio.com. Again, I'll leave the link in the description to make it easy for you. And you want to grab Visual Studio Code. So this is a code editor. When you talk about code editors, there's many, many choices, okay? But Visual Studio Code, in my opinion, is the best one right now. A lot of people use Brackets or Atom or something like that. You can use whatever you want, but we're going to be using the integrated terminal, okay, so that we can all be on the same page. So that's why I'm choosing this code editor. So again, where it says download for Windows, it might say download for Mac. You can actually click this guy and you can see that there's Mac OS, you have Windows and you have Linux. Okay, so download your specific software for your machine. Okay, so once you've done that, you wanna open Visual Studio Code and you also want to set up a folder in your documents or in your desktop, wherever, that is for this course. So we can say it's JavaScript course or you can say it's YouTube JavaScript course whatever you want to put down there to identify that this is the folder you're going to be working with. So you want to head over to the file, okay, at the top, and you want to click file, and where it says open folder, you want to open that folder that you just created. Okay, so once that's done, I just want to take you through a few things. First off, you might notice that the colors on your screen don't match the colors on mine. That's because I have a theme, okay, so if you go to file, and you go to preferences and you go to color theme, you can change this, okay? So these are ones that I have installed. They're available with this extensions menu right here. Okay, and I'll show you that in a minute. But once you go to this, you'll see some that are default, okay? So for example, you have this light plus, which is default, okay? You can click that. So this is if you wanna have a lighter color. And then if you want a darker color, we'll go to preferences, color theme, and you can do this dark plus if you want or I'm gonna use the high contrast, okay? Because that's what I like. Now, if you want to search for themes, you can click this guy right here, which is your extensions. And I have a bunch of these guys installed. You might wanna Google search best themes and like look through the different options and play with them. Over time, you'll find one that you really like. For right now, it's not really that important. So the last thing I wanna do before we conclude this, I wanna go up here to terminal and I wanna click where it says new terminal, okay? And I want you to type the word clear, hit enter. Okay, that gets rid of all that stuff. And then what I want you to do is type node, okay, space hyphen V. Okay, make sure the V is lowercase. Hit enter, and I get the version number of node that I've installed. So if you've installed node correctly, you'll see that version number. If you didn't install it correctly, you're gonna get a error message. Okay, so an error message, and let me show you one of them. So let's say you type node space, and then let's say I do a hyphen and then a capital letter V. Okay, you get bad option, okay? Or let's say node and then no space hyphen V like this. You see, you get all kinds of different stuff. So if you're not getting exactly what I got here, then you probably made a typo, okay? Or you didn't install node correctly. Either way, you wanna make sure you get that taken care of, okay, before we move on to the next part.